What's up YouTube, Redbeard's Garage, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're putting a manual clutch on the street go-kart. reached out to 3D Motorsports to see if they could send us one of their manual clutches for the street go-kart build. We thought it was a perfect match for our street go-kart build because it has everything that a tuner would have. A spooler, an oil catch can, a nitrous kit, so why not have a manual clutch on the go-kart? Now 3D Motorsports is the only company in the world making the manual clutch for a go-kart, so you can't get this product nowhere else and it's a really high quality made product. Now this is what the kit looks like installed on an engine, it has a really nice clutch guard that is red and which is Redbeard's favorite color of course. Now these work for mini bikes or go-karts, it doesn't matter. They make a hand lever for uh, the mini bike as well as the go-karts. They do not have a pedal yet because uh, I feel like the hand lever is a much better application for a go-kart because you don't have much room to be moving your feet around anyways on a go-kart. So the hand lever really makes you feel like you got that shift your cart feel to it. Now it's priced around $250 for the kit that we're testing out today. Also this is a perfect accessory for drift tracks and any kind of drift go-kart build you got going on as you can dump the clutch take off spinning and clutch kick it around curves now let's jump right onto the workbench show you everything that comes with this kit and get to install it on our predator six and a half horse engine okay so we have everything laid out on the table here we have the little bracket that bolts up to the engine and also holds this mechanism right here that helps engage the clutch system we went with a 60 inch clutch cable now that was the distance I needed for my engine to where the clutch lever is going to be mounted now going on to the clutch lever we went with the steering wheel mounted clutch lever or a hand clutch lever uh, the reason I went with the hand clutch lever I was asking him at first if he did have a pedal set up and he said you know you pretty much had to make your own at this point but after setting on my go-kart and putting three pedals on it it was just it was too cramped to be moving your right foot from the gas to the brake it, it just felt like it wasn't natural and you're going to be using a brake a lot on a go-kart so I didn't want something that you want to come easy to be a hassle so I think this is going to work out a lot better than a pedal now it also comes with all the bushings bolts and nuts that you need to install this kit of course and then we go on to the dual disc clutch now this thing is pretty heavy you can tell it's made out of uh, some real good quality materials this alone uh, compared to a standard clutch this outweighs it two to one for sure um, like I said it's a dual disc as you can see there and then the basket has a number 35 chain on it we hope this kit will work out awesome I think it's going to be a really nice uh, setup if you compare prices for, to this to a racing clutch they're right in line with them uh, a racing clutch is around two, starting at $200 they go up as high as $400 and uh, this kit that you see right here is around $250 so without further ado let's jump right in and get to installing this on the street go-kart Okay, first we're going to be putting the clutch guard on and it comes with two half inch nuts to put this on. As you can see there's four holes on the side of these uh, Harbor Freight Predator engines. These are the same on Hondas uh, or pretty much any side shaft engine. Now we're going to be using the two top holes to install this clutch guard and we're not going to tighten these all the way down. We're just going to get them pretty much finger tight for right now. We'll tighten them down the rest of the way uh, later on in the process. Now we want to be able to move this clutch guard around just a hair and uh, like I said we'll tighten it the rest of the way down after we get everything installed. Next you're going to want to take the cable adjuster and the two nuts supplied in the kit and put the first jam nut on about three quarters of the way up the threads and then lay it in the hole all the way to the left in the top of the clutch guard and then you can install the other jam nut on the bottom side of the clutch guard go ahead and take your two 7 16 wrenches and tighten those down all the way. Next we're going to want to take the longer of the three bushings supplied with the kit. Now one side of this bushing has a beveled edge. That beveled edge needs to go towards the engine and we're going to slide it on first. Next we're going to put the clutch basket with the sprocket facing inside towards the engine slide it into place 
Now we have two more bushings left. One is thicker and one is as thin as a washer. The thicker one goes on first, then the washer size bushing goes on next. Next you're going to want to put your key in the keyway. Slide it all the way in the keyway. Now you can take the clutch and slide it on the shaft making sure to align the key. Now you're going to have to rotate the basket so it'll line up with the clutch so it'll all slide into place. Next you're going to want to take the beveled Allen head larger bolt and it'll thread right in the center of the shaft. Go ahead and tighten it down with the 3 16 Allen head wrench. I like to hold the clutch while we get this snug down. Next we're going to take two of the three Allen head bolts, the smaller of the bolts, and rotate the uh, clutch mechanism till the holes are aligned with the workbench and go ahead and take the black bracket and thread those two allen heads into uh, those two holes making sure that the black bracket is underneath the red clutch guard now we're just going to snug these up finger tight we want to leave it a little bit loose then we're going to take the remaining of the allen head bolts, the two washers and the lock nut. Go ahead and put one of the washers on the remaining allen head. Slide it down through the top. Then we can take the other washer and the lock nut. This is kind of hard to get your hands in here, but you're going to want to put it on and go ahead and get that started. Now you're going to want to pull this whole clutch assembly the outside of it all the way out as far as you can and go ahead and tighten down that allen head and that lock nut with the 3 8 wrench and the 5 30 seconds allen head. At this point you can go ahead and tighten those half inch bolts holding the clutch guard. You can go ahead and tighten them all the way down. Next we're going to take our clutch mechanism and pull this rubber boot off. Now we're going to install this boot on the clutch cable. Now we're going to take the barrel end of our clutch cable and the smaller side of that boot and go ahead and feed that barrel through it. Sliding it down onto the, the casing of the cable. Now we're going to take the clutch mechanism with the open side and push this black piece back and go ahead and feed that barrel side inside there laying the cable down and then you can click the red thing over one notch and that will make it where the cable can't slide out. Then we're going to go ahead and push the cable into place and we can flip it around so we can seat the barrel into the clutch lever. Now we can slide that boot back onto the neck and clicking it all the way up against the red piece. Now that we have the clutch cable all installed in our clutch mechanism, we can take it and we can take our clutch cable and slide it down inside this clutch adjuster. Then I'm going to pull the cable until all the slack is, is out of the clutch lever. Now you'll notice there's two uh, indentions in this outer piece of the clutch. Now we're going to take the clutch cable and put it on the inner lip as we pull this this clutch assembly towards us go ahead and lay it in there and you'll notice there's a nut with a washer we're going to go ahead and slide the clutch cable under that nut and washer go ahead and finger tighten that now we're going to rotate this assembly counterclockwise until the cable is tight while holding the cable in place, now we can spin this clockwise to get all the slack out of the cable. You're going to want to spin it until it can't spin anymore. Go ahead and tighten up that allen head. Now we're going to want to tighten that allen head with the 5 30 seconds allen head. Then last we need to tighten up these two allen heads on the, the outer bracket. Now you can go ahead and test out your clutch setup by first pulling the clutch lever and making sure it spins freely and when you let out it engages. Now we're ready to install this on the street go-kart. 
Okay, so we got the clutch all installed on the go-kart. How I had to do the steering wheel clutch was I, my steering shaft is half an inch, so I went and bought a half inch collar that actually has an outside diameter of one inch. So that worked perfect for the clutch to bolt up to my steering shaft. But as you can see, it's all mounted on there and looks pretty awesome. And we have no brakes because our master cylinder is messed up. So hopefully this goes well. Okay, so we just drove it with the 75 tooth sprocket. Now I'm gonna switch it over to the 60 tooth. I am gonna to have to ride the clutch more to take off with the 60 tooth as it's gonna be geared a lot higher. So uh, I'm gonna get that swapped out. Just gotta pop the chain off and then uh, got six bolts and the sprocket comes off. That's why I always say run a two piece sprocket on street go-karts because uh, if you're swapping gearing out, it's so much easier messing with them. So I just gotta unbolt. Uh, loosen up the engine so I can slide it back and get that chain off there and uh, we can get this thing back going So uh, let's get to it. Okay, so we got the new 60 tooth on there You can tell by how much clearance there is on the ground. There's like probably a good two inches now So like I said, I'm gonna have to feather the clutch quite a bit to take off with this But uh, I'm gonna take it down the road and see what she'll do
Okay guys, so that was a 3D Motorsports manual clutch. The big features that I've seen about this clutch is the simple fact you can rev the engine up. You can't do that with a torque converter or a normal clutch. And another big feature is when we got down the film, our go-kart wouldn't start. Our floats was sticking. It was pushing gas out the carburetor. And basically it was flooding itself. So we had to pop start it with the clutch and it worked awesome. So if you have a go-kart with a finicky clutch or it's just really hard to start, this is going to be a lifesaver because you can get it started in just a matter of seconds by popping that, getting it rolling, popping the clutch, she'll start right up every time. The big feature I see with this clutch is for drifters. If you have sleeves on your go-kart, this would be the ultimate clutch. I wish we had some to test, but we have none in the garage at the moment. But you could dump this clutch, take off spinning, and you could blip the clutch in a curve and really get it sideways. I think it'd work out awesome. And also mini bikes. If you have a mini bike, this would be the perfect setup because it's, it's going to be set up more like a motorcycle anyways. So a manual clutch would be the perfect combo for it. These go-karts have a little bit more weight than we'd want to uh, be trying to do burnouts and the horsepower just isn't there with the six and a half horse motors. So if you have a really far built uh, Predator, you're going to probably be able to do burnouts. It just depends on your engine. You know, our setup, our go-kart, my weight, it just wasn't going to happen. Like I said, if you're a drifter, you're going to really like this clutch. If you want to get one of these clutches for yourself, check out the links in the description below. The guys will help you out with any questions that you have. This is a real super nice made kit. You can tell it isn't cheap by no means. Guys, we're also going to be giving this clutch away. I've been wanting to do a giveaway for a little while, and I think this clutch will be the perfect setup. So what you need to do to get entered to win is put a uh, comment below saying you want the clutch. Make sure you're subscribed to us and make sure you like us on Facebook. We'll be announcing the winner in a week from the day that the video is posted. So uh, guys, get entered to win it because I think this would be an awesome little uh, gift to get for Christmas pretty much. So I'll announce it a week from uh, the day the video goes out and then I'll ship it out the day I announce it. So make sure uh, you stay tuned for that. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and always come back to Redbeard's Garage. I'm out.